45 governors and their deputies have now officially kicked off their mandate as county bosses. This is after the swearing-in ceremonies held across the country. I, James Orengo. Former Senate Minority Leader James Agri Orengo was today amongst newly elected governors who took the oath of office. Orengo, a seasoned politician associated with the struggle for democracy, dubbed the second liberation, was sworn into the office by Lady Justice Jackie Kamau at the CIR Kenya Medical Training College grounds. I want to tell you, I don't want this responsibility and the privilege you have given us to look after the affairs of CIR to go down the drain. I want to tell the women of Seattle, particularly because you came out in large numbers. Everywhere we went, and you know how I address you, Mon I want to tell the women of Seattle, in the Odual Orengo government, you will be the center of. Rengo pledged to do all his best to improve lives of CIA residents, adding that the privilege bestowed on him and his deputy William O'Doul was an opportunity to give devolution a meaning in CIA County. As for now, as for now, it is work, work, and work, and work for us in order to deliver services to you. And I can promise you, I can promise you, I will live with you in the village. Those who think that the Rango cannot live in the village. Turukana Governor Jeremiah Lemprucker, who has taken over from outgoing Governor Josephat Nanok, has promised that his administration will address the issue of drought and infrastructure. We will prioritize drilling more bones and establish water supply infrastructure across the county to improve water sufficiency. My administration will invest in water harvesting infrastructure, including the construction of water pumps and dams. This will also serve to control floods as well as ensure water availability to support development. Incoming Muranga Governor Irungu Kangata has said he will institute an audit to establish genuine pending bills of the previous county administration. After he was sworn in as a second Muranga governor, Kangata observed that the pending bills, amounting to more than 1.5 billion shillings, should be audited before the RP. Let me disclose today that uh, almost all my competitors, before we went to the ballot, I had approached each of them, asking them what can we do to bridge our differences. You'd be surprised to realize some of them I had even offered them to become, either become their deputy or they become my deputy. But for one reason or another, uh, those deals did not materialize. And one of the most, one of the key reasons for contention was my insistence that we must support William Samoy Ruto. The Honorable Mualimu Edward Mutahika Higa. Nyeri leaders, members of clergy, county government staff and residents of Nyeri County today came out in large numbers to witness the swearing-in of Nyeri Governor Mutai Kahiga and his Deputy Governor David Mwangi Kinaniri at the Asian Quarters Bus Park in Nyeri Town. 
Kaiga will be serving his second term in office, assured his commitment to serve the people of Nyeri. Ladies and gentlemen, wonderful people of Nyeri, I want to commit to you that health care and the health system in Nyeri will never again be used as a campaign agenda in this country. And investment in our health system in Nyeri to an extent that about 40% of our hospital traffic is from people is about people from other neighboring counties to consider the comparative advantage as well as the competitive advantages of every ward and sub-county to generate programs addressing the value chains. We will create and sustain a highly motivated and responsive public service that adheres strictly to the laid down rules and regulations. Electorates in Kakamega and Mombasa counties are set to elect their county bosses on Monday.